a British doctor, a Dutch computer specialist. Both born in Ghana, both are settled and successful in their adopted countries. Both are giving something back to the land of their birth. Have you been well since we last saw you? Consultant gynecologist Dr. Theodora Pepera has raised a family and forged a thriving career in the UK since leaving Ghana at the age of 14. What draws her back? I've really been quite privileged. I wouldn't say spoilt, but certainly privileged. And, uh, and, and Dad always said, you always have to think of others. I mean, it, it sounds a little bit cliche, but it's true. I first met Dr. Pepera at St. George's Hospital in South London, where she works part-time. And then, a few days later, at the Kolebu Polyclinic in Accra. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. She's teaching medical staff how to spot cervical cancer, the deadliest cancer for women in Ghana. She's even helps the hospital get specialist equipment. Having been in the UK and achieved what I needed to achieve there, I then said that there's still a role for me to play back home um, in women's health. Cervical cancer prevention is my particular area of expertise and I just felt that having that skill, uh, it, it, just, it just didn't make sense to sit back and not do anything with it here. Over the years, Ghana has lost thousands of qualified professionals, especially in the health sector, to countries that could offer them better pay and better working conditions. But some of those that left still feel a strong sense of duty to their country of origin and come back to share their skill and their knowledge, turning that brain drain into brain gain. Clement Adu is a respected IT specialist working at a college in The Hague. He's a Dutch citizen with a wife and child. He's lived in Holland longer than he did in Ghana. So why the need to give back? I would call myself a, a, a Ghanaian Dutch, a Dutch Ghanaian, because uh, I think I, still, I have responsibilities, and that's also I have to do something for the country that I live in, and I live in Netherlands, so I have to contribute to the society, the Dutch society, and at the same time, contribute to the Ghanaian society. <laughs> At the Tamale Teaching Hospital in northern Ghana, Clement has worked to install an advanced computer system over the last few years. It has revolutionized the way the hospital works. I think it's important for people in the diaspora to contribute to their country of origin because we have exposed to maybe some advantages that are not, doesn't exist over here. We have been exposed to new technology and those ideas alone can help contribute to your country of origin. Every time Clement makes the two-day journey from his home in the Netherlands to this hospital, he brings something with him. Years of skill and experience, and sometimes even computers. This relationship has benefits on both sides. The hospital gets a first-class computer system, and Clement gets the satisfaction of knowing that he's giving back to the country of his birth. Ghana is hungry for skilled workers. Dr. Pepera and Clement are part of a scheme called the Temporary Return of Qualified Nationals. It runs in nine countries and helps professionals get involved in short-term assignments to pass on their expertise. Uh, migrants do contribute a lot to home countries, but uh, through the program that we are running, they are able to do things formally what we are always thinking about, the positive relationship between migration and development, where we have um, knowledge and skills transfer, that uh, goal is being met. Position yourself. Dr. Pepera and Clement are part of a relatively small program, and it's too soon to tell whether their contributions will last. But it is an example of what's possible. And with millions of people on the move across the world, finding ways for migrants to contribute positively to both home and host societies has never been more important. Nancy Kachungira, BBC News, Ghana.